Hello students, welcome to Veranda IS. From the current affairs of environment, in this section we are going to discuss about Indian Rhino Vision of 2020. The learning objectives of this particular session will be to explain the Indian Rhino Vision 2020, then examine Indian Rhino Vision 2020 in news, then we will discuss the performance of the program, and then we will analyze one horn rhinos. So let's begin first by introducing ourselves to the Indian Rhino Vision 2020. So we all know Rhinoceros, when the name comes of Rhinoceros, we always remember the Kaziranga National Park. So let's go in details and let's find out what is actually the vision, how it worked, how we evaluate and uh, what is the information, more information about this. It was designed in 2005. Now again, there has been, been question about Indian Rhino Vision 2020 up till now. So it is important that we remember the facts and uh, information about this particular session for the prelims. The Indian Rhino Vision 2020 is believed to have achieved its target of attaining a population of 3000 rhinos in Assam. So remember that uh, the vision was designed uh, in 2005 and by they achieved that Indian Rhino Vision of 2020 was expecting that the population of this rhinoceros will be 3000s in, uh, in the Assam. So it is speculated or it is considered that it has been achieved. It aims to, now what is the aim of it? It aims to ensure a long term viable population, long term viable population of one horned Indian rhinoceroses. The population of rhinos would be distributed in various rhino habitats in at least seven protected areas. So this rhino population had to be relocated, reshifted and we have to create uh, new habitats for the rhinos and in, they have to be introduced in the new habitat. So at least seven of this were considered to be a protected areas and there actually they considered that they will be distributed in these areas. Further, Manas which is known for the near extinction of pygmy hog lost its UNESCO World Heritage Site designation in 1985 along with the Kaziranga. So this is Manas is again a national park in state of Assam. So they, it lost its UNESCO World Heritage Site for near extinction of this pygmy hog. So that is not a good news but still uh, it is there. So along with Kaziranga. In 2011, the translocated rhinos assisted Manas National Park in regaining the World Heritage Site. So again, in, they lost it in, in 1985, but they regained it in the 2011. So that was because the translocated rhinos, translocated rhinos means they have been shifted from one place to another place. So they were brought in this Manas National Park and because of that site, they were again, again able to get the World Heritage Site status as given by the UNESCO. So now World Heritage Site uh, status and all those things you must have learned in the uh, culture section. So it is an important uh, parameter or important what we can say uh, important tag that is given to the various places in the world. So what was the news? So in April 2021, the Indian Rhino Vision 2020 program has come to close with the recent translocation of two rhinos to the Manas National Park in the Assam. So as I told you that the vision encompasses what relocation, reshifting the rhinos into protected areas and then further, uh, obviously further, and a, a further enhancement to the population of rhinos was supposed to be there. So it was completed in 2021 as they shifted the rhino from uh, uh, two rhinos into the Manas National Park. It was the eighth round of rhino translocation under the Indian Rhino Vision 2020. So it was an eighth one, but just from the exam point of view, this first point is very important where uh, the, it has come to an halt and the two rhinos were relocated at the Manas National Park, Manas National Park, which is in again in Assam. So an adult rhino from this is just an image showing an adult rhino from Pobi Toro wildlife century uh, being released into the Manas National Park. So this was released and that with that the program came to an end which was again a successful one. Now what is the performance of the program? So this performance of the program can be asked in the mains examination also or at least it can work as a case study. Uh, where you can add if you are asking a, they are asking a project a question on the uh, question on the uh, question on the conservation efforts then you can mention this particular program. The goal of achieving a population of 3000 rhinos has almost been met but the animal could only be reintroduced in one of the four specified protected zones. So with success there has been a limitation. Now they wanted to introduce that or relocate that into other areas but they were able to do only in the one. So in 2011, the translocated rhinos assisted Manas National Park in regaining its world heritage site status. That is what we have also seen in the earlier slides. 
Now the outcomes of the forestry, municipal and national government authorities coordinating efforts to combat wildlife crimes across Assam witnessed considerable decrease in poaching in 2018 and 2019. Now poaching is a very big problem specifically with the rhinos because of the poaching and uh, the, whatever they, they you can consider that its horn is very significant in terms of medical usages and all those things. But that was and that was uh, reduced under this program. So poaching has been reduced. So poaching does exist in many parts of India again. There are various national, international conventions, treaties, laws to regulate and to punish the people who are involved in poaching. But still it is, still it is existing. But again, with respect to time, it will come to an end. Let's hope that it comes to an end because uh, killing the animals for some commercial gains is not justified in any way because everyone is uh, in a way having a life of its own from ethical point of view also and from the point of view of biodiversity conservation also, it plays a very significant role. So further, uh, one horned rhinos, uh, if you see about the one horned rhinos, what they are and all. So the Indian rhinoceros, rhinoceros unicornis is its name, biological name or taxonomic name we can say, is the rhinoceros species native to the Indian subcontinent. Okay, so remember this, it is, even if they can give this name or this name, if they give this name, then remember it is the native. Native means it is basic habitat is belonging to the Indian subcontinent. It is also known as Indian rhino, bigger one horned rhinoceros or huge Indian rhinoceros. So these are the other names of this particular uh, animal. The IUCN red list classifies it as vulnerable. So it is vulnerable and most important reason in being it being vulnerable is the poaching. So if poaching is reduced, its status may change. But again, uh, there are a lot of efforts at every possible level from starting from that particular location to the national levels poaching. There are various laws also to control that. But still it is vulnerable. Uh, again, uh, because of lot of ish climatic issues and all those things, every other organism is suffering. So vulnerable they are. We hope that it will get, the tag may get reduced. But still, protection of the rhinoceros is an important one. With 84 Indian rhinoceros, the Pobitro Wildlife Sanctuary in the Assam boasts the world's greatest density. So there is also a Kaziranga National Park, but in terms of density, it is the Pobitro Wildlife Sanctuary. Again, remember Pobitro Wildlife Sanctuary in Assam. So we have come across Manas, we have come across Pobitro, and we also come across the Kaziranga. All three are important in the Assam. So there can be a question in prelims again, giving you the names of the centuries and all those things and asking you in which state do they belong and which are the specific animals over here. So just remember that. Assam is home to about 85% of the global Indian rhinoceros. So that is a big number. So we are lucky to have Assam uh, and in Assam, uh, in Assam basically we are lucky to have 85% of the global Indian rhinoceros population with Kaziranga National Park accounting for 70% of the rhino population. So this is also very important. So this is a small topic. So let's summarize what we have learnt. We have learnt Indian Rhino Vision 2020 which has come to an end in the April 2021 with introduction of rhinoceros in the Manus National Park from the Pobitro National Park. Then we studied the IRV 2020 in the news which is what I told you. And then the performance of the program, yes it has achieved its target of having 3000 rhinoceros and relocated in different uh, but, uh, different uh, reserves, but there was one limitation which was it can be in relocated only in one national park that is the Manus and Manus was able to gain the world heritage site once again. And then we studied the one horned rhinoceros or rhinos. So with that I hope you have understood whatever we have discussed in this particular session. That's it for this session. See you in another one. Thank you.